Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 55 of my Bath City Lower League Management Playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And today we've got another FA Cup game. I want to win this. We do have an opportunity. It's against Wickham. So it's a team in our league. Uh, we've been doing okay against teams in our league. We've improved our form. Uh, last four games I've played at least, I've been unbeaten, winning three games, a couple of league wins there was very, very nice. Uh, last game I played Colchester, uh, yeah, nil-nil. That game I wanted to do my best to win, of course, because they're around that position. Uh, we had a few chances in that game. Again, I'll show, you the, yeah, I'll show you the match stats. They got an injury. We didn't have anything like that. We of course, we're expected to have lower possession playing five at the back on the counter, uh, but we did actually have a couple chances uh, where are we? we had two clear cut chances uh, but we couldn't take them unfortunately so that's what we're going to get playing this way and it's the best way to play for a team that's yeah facing relegation really and we've got some negotiations going on we'll see if those go through like renewing loans and whatnot uh, but we'll go back and yeah Roy Sheridan he had a man of the match performance last time out so he's coming along very nicely uh, but he will be dropped for today's game uh, we we'll just bring in, you know, we've got the three now of George Fowler, Ratchnig, and Charlie Ovala, Oliver. Uh, they're all really good. Uh, who else? Um, Sido, uh, John Butty can't play his illegible uh, because he's actually on loan. Yeah, he's on loan from them. It's not just cup tied. It's because, yeah, it's a team we're facing as well. Uh, he's on loan from. So this is a team. We've got a lot of players, don't we? Uh, I've got another couple on loan. I'm, I renewed, yeah, like you were saying there, uh, Timothy Pike, who actually hasn't played for us yet because uh, he's been injured, but should get a chance soon. He's on loan from Man City. Uh, looks like a decent type. And also Lewis Collins renewing that uh, for to the end of the season. Now, we originally just did a three-month loan offer, I think. Uh, first up, we first got him. But also, I found another loan player, Otis Khan. It's still hard to find quality, but for me... Uh, this guy looked really, really well rated, like all around the park. Technicals, he's solid, mental solid, and physical solid. He looks yeah really well rounded in that part of his game, and we'll try and yeah mold him into a central midfielder. That's one of his best roles, actually, as a yeah centre mid. So uh, that is very good. Hopefully, he can play some part, but he's still yeah uh, lacking. I think he just played yeah one reserve game. That's why he's tired. Want to give him some chances, but here we are, lads. Uh, if we can advance, we need, yeah, this is, like, I somehow dream I could maybe face a Premier League team or something, go that far, like, if I beat Wickham here, the next, yeah, the next stage, we'll see, like, if you go here, FA Cup, we'll go rules, and you can see we'll win 27k, so it's it's a big occasion for us, so let's go in, and we can do our best, and anything can happen when we're playing this way, you get five on the back, uh, five at the back, and we just hit them on the break, and Tyler Walker's been on good form, uh, in the cup and in the league, uh, he's done probably better than I expected. And when we're a bit lower in the league, uh, it's always good to have a big goal scorer. We know we can score. So any dangerous players I have, uh, Macalinden, he seems like a good physical type. Uh, not really, really tall, but decent strength, and he's got some pace on him. Um, Josh Gowan, yeah, very strong mentally, so he's going to be one to look out for. Is he? Yeah, he's still 23, but he's not like really quick. Uh, who's this guy? Callum Geraldo Martin is like a more quick winger, but technically doesn't have anything fantastic. Uh, so I just want to, yeah, rate my chances here. Like Wickham, who do they have? Carl Baker, uh, looks pretty strong, honestly, like mentals and then good technicals, 33 experienced player. And who's, uh, Chewed Hurry? Whoa! Holy shit! I did not expect that throw, man. Oh, that caught me off guard. I did not expect that. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a regen with that hair initially. Then no, no, he's a real player. <laughs> oh, and he's at Leicester as well. Does anyone know this guy in real life? Man, he starts as a youth player. So he starts at, must start at 17. He's 19 now. Holy, to have that kind of hair. At, like, oh, that's a huge throw, man. Well, yeah, he's got good mental attributes, physical as you would expect, like strength as all. Well. I'm not sure how it'll be reflected in the game with that throw. Uh, Peter Murphy, yeah, looks like okay player, mentally good. Okay, how about the defense? That's important. Um, Joe Jacobson, he's 30, he's experienced, but he's a bit on the slower side, which may be good for us. Um, Aaron Pierre looks really strong. Look at that, 15 strength and uh, decent defensive attributes. Um, Lavelle. Yeah, he's good physically, but then technically he could be let down uh, because he is a young player. Then O'Neill, 
uh, will be a defensive fullback for them. It looks pretty good. Uh, looks like a good player. Can play on both sides uh, on the fullback. So that's really good. And how about their keeper, Ingram? Yeah, he's pretty solid. He's got high in centricity, but then he's got the decisions. Uh, that's not generally a centricity, a great attribute to have, but if it's partnered with good decisions and it's 14, that's pretty good for this level, that makes it a bit better because uh, he obviously chooses the right time to be eccentric and um, not exactly what... It's like go, yeah, you're doing the outrageous kind of things, like uh, going more out of your box or something. Uh, but yeah... I'm not sure exactly what it means, but something along those lines. Uh, but you have to be a good decision maker for that. Okay, should have, why is it because I'm getting a scout report or he's on loan or something? He's got that red. But anyway, ah, uh, man. He'll probably do something in this game now. I can just tell. We'll let Leah Lamb. His motivating is too good. If people are wondering, if you're just recently watching this this series, why I'm, yeah, keep telling him to do the uh, team talks because he's got great motivating and generally he comes up with some nice... Uh, yeah, Team Talks reactions in the green lighting up, so that's good. Uh, but what did he say? He says, go out there and impress me. So I'll, I'll couple that with, I have faith in you, okay? We'll try again passionately for the midfielders. And defenders, I won't mess with it because they've got some good reactions already. So come on. And it's at home as well, so the fans will be expectant. And this is not like an overly defensive tactic, despite playing five at the back on on counter because... We're still a danger. We still have chances in games, but we just got to play smartly. We have our chances in games, that's for sure. It's not like we just yeah, defend for the whole game. Uh, we do have our own chances, which is good. But it's good to restrict the amount the opponent... Like the previous game, it was finished nil-nil. They had about five shots um, from range. A couple went close, but obviously, yeah, they went down as off-target. And it ended nil-nil, which is good. And it's looking to go down the same path here. You want to be, uh, realistically, you want to be more attacking at home. But previous games, like a month ago or whenever, when I was going a bit more attacking, that's when I wasn't getting results. So, yeah, you have to play the way to get results. Maybe I have to come in with a demanding talk. We'll say assertively and say, keep going out there. You can still win today. Okay, so I'm motivated. I'll, I'll leave that. And, uh, maybe I'll just, what else will I say? I'll say calmly, um, you weren't that bad, but I think you can improve. I have faith in you. Yeah, there we go. We'll try that for everyone on calm. There we go. One looking happy. Then the strikers, they're the big ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to find the back of the net. And both look happy, Lafayette and Walker. Uh, you probably have to say, I was going to say, who's my best strikers? Walker obviously has to put his name up there as the best because he scored the most this season. That's almost obvious. Oh, could he do it again? Walker! I was just talking about you! Oh, no offside or anything? Yes! He's been offside a few times after putting in the back of the net, but his instinct at such a young age, at a pretty decent league now, League 2, yeah, and he was playing in the conference where we were last year, but obviously on loan at a different team, a class finish, and we're in the box seat now. We are in the box seat. Oh, imagine if we could score another one. Lafayette win the header. Ooh, you got to expect him to win those as target man. Come on. And another, oh, come on. He has, that's poor, man. He's like tall, strong. He's got to win one of those. you got to do better. Now it's Baker. And if it leads to a goal, you can't blame a striker, but he should, should have won one of those challenges. Baker puts it in. Oh, well done, Oliver. Well done. Deal with this. Well done, Lock. I was scared I was going to concede there, to be honest. I'll just say here, uh, team talk-wise, we'll say assertively, um, calm down. Uh, sometimes people have suggested to do that, like after I've scored a goal. So, yeah, I do read your comments. I try to reply to a lot as well. Uh, so I do yeah, take on board everything you say because um, obviously it's helped me. I've changed tactics. I've looked for loan signings and, yeah, it's work. Come on. Ah. And that's as soon as I said, calm down. So that worked well. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I would have conceded anyway if I said something different or didn't say anything at all. But um, at the end, they score. Uh, McAlinden put it in and Cole found the back of the net. So that's a bit disappointing. We had the lead. I feel sometimes in football manager, especially when you're a poor team, there's only, yeah, sometimes there's nothing you can do from conceding. And they have had a lot of chances in the game. Maybe Lafayette, yeah, he failed us when he was trying to win those headers. Let's just bring on Harry Labus. We'll sort that out. Uh, anyone else who could come on who hasn't had a great game? Holmes Dennis, but uh, he, he's the captain for this game. 
Not going to take him off. Maybe Collins will take off and we'll bring on... Who's like the Lee Palmer for a bit of attack? And yeah, we're going to go slightly a bit more attacking here with these players. This is what I do to go a bit more attack. Put centimeter on attack, then the other two centimeters on support. Uh, just to be a bit more of a force uh, when we go forward. And then we put our wing backs on attack. That's what I usually do if I'm not winning. Especially at home. If it's away from home, maybe I'll leave it how it is. Uh, but yeah, we'll roll with this. And especially to concede from a header when we've got three centre-backs, um, that's really disappointing. I reckon, uh, like, I did that, and we should be, yeah, not conceding. Like, with, like, tall centre-backs, well, not, not all of them are tall, but usually centre-backs win headers. <laughs> that's their main job, uh, to defend. Okay, someone's injured now. Someone was always going to get injured. That's why I left another sub. And uh, that was Adelsbury, and we'll just bring on Kingsley James, who's a similar kind of player, like a box-to-box -box type. Uh, probably their favorite positions, but we're going with the center mids now. Okay, if we at least hold on to this draw... Oh, no, not a corner. See, I I'm not mad about it anymore, like because I've, I've seen it all before. What are we now? We're in May. I've seen it all before, uh, not just this year in Football Manager, years before. So I don't get mad. I just like accept it. And especially as we're low expectations. Yeah. It's just disappointing. I'm actually not surprised by it. That's why there's no reactions. Uh, really. Uh, so that's going to be disappointing if we don't score late. Come on. 30 seconds. You don't know if this is actually a chance. Or it's just one of those highlights at the end of the game. When there's 30 seconds left. Come on. Ugh. It is it is frustrating when your players just give away the ball needlessly. But it's just their quality, you know. Robinson, maybe. Go. Ah, push. Don't pass backwards when there's limited time left. But, yeah, we'll take it. We'll just say Leah Lamb to do this because, yeah, he's a good chance to get good reactions. Uh, it's disappointing. I wanted to win for more money because we're struggling. We're, like, pushing 400k in the red, which is not good. But we, like... You can't say we deserve to win that. They dominated possession shots. They did deserve uh, to advance. But Tyler Walker, for the time being anyway, has the most goals in the FA Cup. <laughs> Equal with Harry Williams, at least. That's a little achievement, I suppose. But again, still, like I did in the Johnstone's paint trophy, you see it's got the same confidence. I went, yeah, one round further than I was expected to by the board. It says, uh, the team is not expected to go or get beyond the first round of the FA Cup. The board are delighted that the team reached the second round of the FA Cup. And we were winning at a point <laughs> as well. We took the lead. And they believe, yeah, Tyler Walker is going to be a fantastic signing. Uh, well, he has been. He's scored an amazing, especially the Cups. Started three and off the bench two times and uh, comes up with seven goals. He's going to be special. And just on the Afro guy again, just explanation from the reports. Like I've been saying, it's hard for me to get yeah, the same quality. Uh, this is what I talked about in the previous episode. It says he would be a decent signing for Skybet League One sides. The majority of my team are good players or decent signings or yeah, players like that for Vanarama conference sides. I have about three or four maybe that will be uh, decent signings for Skybet League 2 where we are now. But yeah, other teams like Wickham, who's near the top of the table, they can get players like uh, Skybet League 1 level, championship level. That's why it's really hard to beat them. And obviously, he would come in, look how much better. They're five-star compared to my other midfielders. So I feel we, we competed with them. Um, they had to, yeah, leave it late. Well, they didn't even, yeah, dominate us. Well, possession-wise, but not on the scoreboard. Because uh, we were sitting back. That was general. So, yeah, we did well there. And if you're wondering, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to sign Leandro Damao. That Don't worry, that's not the striker. It's just a region in the game. Uh, but he may not accept the work permit, so you may not have to worry about him. But he actually accepted the contract offer. Look how amazing he is. Uh, probably has good potential as well. I can't scout him, though. I just came across him while searching. But, uh, yeah, it's probably not going to accept because he's from Brazil. Okay, what would you do in this situation? It says Demao, his work permit application is rejected. He'll be unable to play. Um, sorry if you heard a noise. That was just yeah, some notifications going off on my phone. But yeah, he'll have to be loaned out. And he's not. I'm going to have to reject it. I'm going to have to cancel it. Uh, because I've never experienced loaning out a player at this level to a team outside of England, you know. So yeah, he's not going to yeah, get the work permit. Uh, so yeah, he'll be good, but... 
Yeah, not for me, unfortunately. Maybe if I was Premier League level and he was maybe a bit better, uh, yeah, then you can loan him out to yeah whoever you have as affiliates or something like that. So here we are, guys, for the next league game against Mansfield. You can see they're looking to push into the promotion places, and we are looking to get out of the, the relegation zone. It's a home game, so there is a chance. Look here, we're on 14 points. A win, we could potentially go up to 20th pending on other results. We'll be on 17 points with another win. So this is what I can just envision here. We're on 14 points. If we can go, again, if we can go on that run of winning three games, that would give us nine more points. So nine more points from here will put us on 23 points. And that could be obviously those kind of teams you expect to pick up points, but around that kind of safer area away from, uh, yeah, these two relegation spots. So uh, we'll just go in uh, with my team. It's going to be hard, no doubt. It's almost going to be as hard as the last game against Wickham because Mansfield are around a similar kind of area. So, yeah, this is a team. Uh, Chombati is going to come back in. Of course, he's eligible to play in the league. And not like the last game in the cup, he couldn't play. Other players come back from injury and all of that. So playing youth games. Uh, Pike is actually going to be playing his first game for us on loan from Man City. He's got some nice attributes. Um, even the other one. Uh, where is he? Our new, yeah, uh, Otis Khan. We have him on the bench right now in 79% condition. Ideally, I'll bring him off the bench and he'll come on and hopefully we'll do something because you've got Lewis Collins there. He's been doing all right, uh, scoring a couple goals. But yeah, the last five games, average rating, one of our best. And yeah, Adelsbury, you can't take him off. You know, sometimes he can, or any time, yeah, he can come up for a great free kick and a re reliable source uh, from the spot if we pick up a penalty. And also our defenders uh, have been doing pretty well recently, especially George Fowler, uh, 7.02 in last five games, average rating, and even more so Roy Sheridan, uh, 7.50, and for the whole season, average rating 7.21. So you probably think he's almost our weakest link at the back. Uh of course, his tackling is only seven. That's what I want him to work on, really. But, yeah, you got positioning as well. What do you, Yeah, it's hard. What would you work Or would you just work on the general role or central defender on the fen like we're playing and it covers, yeah, all those kind of necessary attributes? Uh, we'll do that anyway. We'll go into the game. And also, uh, yeah, Otis Khan, he needs a number. I don't like giving the unlucky 13. We'll just give him 17. And that should be it. And we'll push into the game, and let's see, let's see how we do. Uh, we'll go, ooh, Lee Lamb. Yeah, there we go. Decent team talk. What did you say? Uh, show everyone what you can do. So again, we'll go along that line. We'll go calmly and say, "There's a lot more to come from you." Uh, that's like to me, that's the most positive one you can do there. There we go. Some nice little reactions. And there we go. That one just changed. <laughs> yeah, looked happy. Come on, it's a home game. And if we can beat a team that's pushing for promotion, or pushing to be in the playoff positions at least, yeah, it's a, it will be a big confidence booster, especially in in front of the fans and uh, all little things in lower league man, all, all lower things in football manager in general help. Like every game, if you do well, you could get fans from it. That's really important, and that's why I do want to play a good style. But sometimes you have to be forced, uh, yeah, to play a counter style. But if we score some nice goals, you don't know, we could yeah generate new fans and all of that. Um, all those little stuff you don't really think about sometimes. I'll be honest, I've forgotten about it. But when you think about it more, yeah, in Football Manager, those kind of things yeah, take effect. Uh, so, yeah, nil-nil. You've got to be happy with that performance, not conceding. But you want to score goals. Again, Charlie Oliver uh, played well. Just go Leah Lamb again. Uh, but then I'll go with something passionately. I want to see more from you. Okay, that will get good reactions. See, I, I, do you think reactions are that important? Like, how important are they? Or is it more what you say? Sure, you can keep doing something for a good reaction, but maybe something that's a bit more demanding, that doesn't get a bad reaction, just neutral. It doesn't change, really. If they just listen keenly or whatever, may that be better if it's more a demanding team talk instead of just saying you have faith all the time? More you want something out of your players. I don't know. And here, come on. Yes, Locke held it well. Maybe we can go for a counter here. And they haven't dominated with shots. They have more possession, but that's what it's been most of the time. Come on. Who's Dagnall? Just tackle. Well done, Adelsbury. Oh, come on. Yes, we'll get it back here. Jombati. Come on. We've got to take a chance. Adelsbury, Jombati, get it forward to Fletcher. 
Oh, Collins. Oh, Walker could be on. Tyler Walker finds the back of the net. How good is this guy? He's just one of those, yeah, quicker strikers that's got a great finish. Just a natural poacher. And he perfect ball as well. Amazing as we take the lead. What a ball from Collins as well. Uh, decent loan signing. Walker as the keeper come up. He just smashed that uh, really high near post. What a finish. Those are the kind, that's the chances we have to take. We might have two or three of them for the match as a whole and yeah, defend for the rest. We could just go take them. We could do it again here. Adelsbury. Where is he going to go out wide to Jombati? Oh, I could find Fletcher with the head. And he had no one to header it to. Maybe if he could have flicked it backwards, uh, Walker would have been waiting for it. Just hopefully it's not a chance for them now. It's Dagnall. It's Grant. Goes wide. Is his name Corner? <laughs> his name is Corner. Uh, no, it's Sears. Block it. Block it. Is that Freddie Sears who came through West Ham? It could have been. Oh, my God. It was close. We've still got the lead, though. Do we say something like a team talk? Ugh. Last time I did, I conceded. Uh, Ashley Fletcher will come off. Hasn't had the best of games. And we shall bring on Harold Labus. He's, yeah, he's actually decent as a target man off that rating. But we'll put on support. He may come midfield. Just drop down a little bit more. Yeah, put an extra man within there. Anyone else who hasn't had the... I oh, really want to bring on Otis Khan to give him some game time. And who do we take off? Yeah, Adelsbury hasn't been the best. We'll make those two for now. And again, if you look at Khan, he's really well rated, isn't he? Uh, rated as one of our best midfielders. Uh, really good with Lewis Collins as well. So, yeah, two. I reckon as the season's gone by, I've made these signings like Collins, like Khan. Uh, these on loan players for us, they've, yeah, at the, like I was saying, it's hard to find them. But eventually, like, you got to always check. Like, maybe every couple of weeks or something, new players will be listed by loan by their team. So, you always got to check. If at the start of the season, you haven't found any, there could be chances uh, to get someone later in the season, uh, like I have now with Collins, and hopefully Khan will make the same impact. But yeah, Collins, he got the assist for that goal, so he's making a great impact. Not sure if we can sign him, but uh, we'll see what goes down, because is that Reading? We just need to hold on here. I don't want to go too defensive at home, like on all-out all defense, like counter, so we can maybe score another. Always keep... Alive for that. Come on. McCombe. Oh, don't concede. What a save, Lock. That's a ripper. That's as good as a goal. That is as good as a goal. What a save. Now, make sure they don't score. Oh, come on. Yes, get rid of it. Well done. That was a class save. I thought that was going to be a goal, honestly. Uh, 15 minutes left now. Uh, one more change that could be made. Mm. See, defense, really good ratings. Again, Roy Sheridan's going to be up there. I'll tell you what. He's amazing. Going to be amazing. Timothy Pike actually played his first game and captain here uh, for us. But anyway, we'll go with a defensive. Who's the best player out of all these guys? Uh, Tariq Holmes Dennis, I believe. Or Kingsley James. Uh, it's a hard decision. No, we just go with him. He's probably the best option. Um, I feel improving in training as well. He's without getting a really high average rating because, again, as a deeper, more defensive kind of player, he's not going to score a lot of goals or assists or get assists. So he's not going to be rewarded in that way. But, yeah, he's impressive. He's impressive for me. He's got a contract to 2019. So uh, we've got him. It's not like he's a player like similar to those loan, loan signings. Like he's got potential to be a good sky bet league one left back or whatever position we play him in, really. He can play almost anywhere defensively. So I'm happy about that. Those are the kind of players we need uh, to help us get promoted. Like, if we can survive this season, uh, we'll definitely improve because, yeah, the majority of our team is young. So they're going to be getting better throughout the season. Some people say, yeah, survive this season. Maybe I can get promoted the following season. But I still think that's a stretch. I've got to look to survive this season. And next season, I've got to look to maybe try my best. Maybe a season like I did in the conference uh, where I maybe didn't start the best, but then I pushed on uh, late and just made the playoffs. Maybe something like that. Maybe a playoffs we could push for. And the second half of the season, the young players will push on even more. So we'll just go instruction-wise. I have no idea. What did I try last time? I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, team talk, sorry. And we'll say assertively. Say, tighten up. We'll see if that does something. Surely defensively, tighten up. That makes sense. So... Whew, this will be a huge win. We took our clear-cut chance. And, oh, come on. I said I didn't want to get too excited. Defend this chance. Come on, Chombati. 
Now it's Grant. Clements. Oh, well done, Holmes Dennis. It was the right decision. Come on, Walker. Oh, he couldn't get on the end of it. Close. Good chance. Uh, it's injury time, man. This is where madness happens. Haralabis, do something special. What is he going to do? He finds Collins. Who finds Walker? Oh, man, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Come on. This is going to be a win. Tyler Walker, he could smash 30 goals this season, which would be amazing for League 2 level. And Collins picks up another assist. Wowie! <laughs> oh, yes. Come on. Come on. We're going to pick up a win here against a decent side. Uh, you sure they were pushing uh, in the playoffs, like I mentioned already? Now, corner from out wide. Fowler. See, that's having the three centre backs and Khan making a challenge there, and they score a wonder goal. What, th that's a good strike. <laughs> Luckily, we scored. I knew there, there's been two goals in the 90th minute, so there's something there. The goalkeeper's really out of position. I would have been mad, but I know, yeah, we have the points. And that's what it took for them to beat our keeper, just like a strike outside of the box. Like, we're playing five at the back, uh, three strong centre backs. Oh, can we finish this? Khan, or is it over? Surely it's over. Yeah, it is. But yeah, that's what it took them to get a goal against us, uh, to uh, like a strike from range. But yeah, great game from Lewis Collins. Uh, two goals from Tyler Walker. He finished, yeah, Collins' good uh, playmaking work. And then, yeah, still got over a seven average rating, or yeah, seven rating for the game uh, from Roy Sheridan and Charlie Oliver. That's fantastic. And yeah, those were the best players for the game. Yeah, that was just, that was magnificent. That was magnificent, that performance. That shows we can beat any team on our day. And yeah, they pushed down a bit. And we're out. We're 21st. We're off bottom, out of the relegation positions. Yes. Yes. Let's push on now, lads. Come on. Great game. And Tyler Walker. How good is he? How good is this young lad? So guys, that will be it for this episode. Unfortunately, we did get knocked out of the FA Cup. Uh, but now uh, we can push on uh, in the league. Oh, it feels so comfortable now. Like, there's less pressure. I just want to see the board. Are they any more happy? See, I'm. V it's very secure. It was secure before. But now I'm outside of the relegation zone. I'm out of it. Job status is really high because my contract... How long is my contract until? Yeah, it's still 2020. So still, like, about three, three more seasons. So that's really, uh, really good. But again, going back to it, if we go to the League 2... Uh, it says, again, fight bravely really against relegation. And it says the board are satisfied that the team have tried their best. And, yeah, we're outside of the relegation. Maybe, yeah, after yeah this win, you've got to wait a few days for that to update because we are actually out of that now. But we've got three away games next. We've got Cambridge. Uh, where are they? Cambridge. They're 17th. So they've only won four games for the season. We've won three. Could be a close game. And then there's Bradford, who's 16th. So next two a bit easier, but then we've got Wickham. We couldn't beat him at home, so away is going to be very difficult. And it seems they're hitting some good form, moving up to second now. So, yeah, it wasn't terrible losing 2-1 against them. But we turned it around 2-1 uh, against Mansfield. They drop a bit down now. Uh, but I'm so happy, especially Walker, man. He's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And, of course, out of all cups now, I can focus on playing league games. So, obviously, I'll play a bit more off camera now. Uh, maybe like four or five games, like a month's worth. I don't know. Maybe the away games and I'll see. I'll see in a good position anyway. Uh, hopefully, yeah, yeah, we can do well and maybe you guys were hoping for a good relegation battle, but I'd hope we can maybe push on. But more than anything now, look, I have faith we can stay up and that'll be a great achievement. Last two seasons, I've been expected to come last. Last year was insane. I ended up getting promoted. But yeah, Again, just to prove it, I suppose. Yeah, we're expected to come 24th, but this is a much harder level. So I really, the more we play young players, the more experience, the better they're going to get. Tyler Walker, it's scary. He's only going to get better. He's only 20, and our whole squad is almost like that. If you get a gauge here, um, if you see our older players, this is maximum age. Look here, you know, 25, 25 and less, uh, 25 and younger, I should say. Uh, yeah, players that could probably improve, and you got. John Barty, who's only on loan. Lafayette, obviously, you've got to bring in some experience there um, as a like strong target man. Uh, Sakani Simpson, who's been consistent for us over the course. And Chris McPhee, who I probably want to let go. He's getting a bit disappointed. Um, he's on 650 per week, so might let him go. Uh, yeah, th that's it. And the rest are under 25. You've got like Locke and Dan Ball. A couple of guys have been there for a while now. Then 24-year-olds in Adelsbury and Kingsley James. And the rest, you've got Dan Hart. Again, I don't think he's this quality and doesn't have really high potential. 
he's got potential what to be just a good player at Vanarama Conference. So may have to let him go at season's end. Only got the yeah, contract uh, till then. He's on cheap wages though. Thought I might as well keep him and just let him go then. But yeah, the rest are 21 years old or younger from, I'll just say, yeah, from not Otis Khan because he's only on loan, from Ashley Fletcher and then all the way to Harold Abbas at 17, they're 21 or younger. They can only get better. And that's a big, you look at all those names, they're players that's playing for us. And Demkiv has been out with injury. Want to get him back uh, as he's going down a bit. He's still got the good potential in him around, well, it doesn't say he's been out for a while. A decent to be, it used to be like League One when he gets back to action. But yeah, that's what I mean. A very, very young team. If you can play him a lot this season, just give him as much games as possible. It's not like saying, don't play them, make sure you stay up. But the majority of my team is young anyway. So yeah, they're lifting and they're going to come together. Like we're not going to be changing too much of the squad. Just a couple of those guys that I mentioned that aren't going to be good enough. I'll let them go. But the majority of the squad, we're going to keep. So in a season or two, the fluidity um, and just the player's uh, togetherness is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be better than other teams because I want to keep the sc- the core of the squad. I want to keep a lot of the players, not letting too much go, not having too much come in. Of course, I always sign some uh, new players, but you got to keep yeah the core of the team, and that's going to uh, uh, prove dividends, I feel, uh, as seasons going forward, not just getting promotion from this league, but maybe League One as well, as a lot of guys have potential uh, to be around that yeah quality. So that's it for now. Hopefully enjoy this episode. Uh, We got a nice win against Mansfield to get out of the relegation zone. Drop a like for that, surely. And I'll see you guys in the next video.